Hey folks, so I know you're sitting there thinking, wait, Panda, didn't you say you were shutting the channel down and you were going to stop this? Well, you know, sometimes we get continuations, sometimes we get reboots, sometimes we get relaunches. Um, you know, if you uh, pay attention to Netflix, for example, they canceled uh, one day at a time uh, the reboot, <laughs> God, ironically enough, the reboot of the 70s sitcom with a modern cast. And after three seasons, they canceled it. So another network picked it up and continued it. So, you know, I always said that there was one company that I would go back to uh, if they unfucked their model. And that is Geek Fuel. Um, when they were doing monthly boxes, I loved their monthly boxes. They were fun. Uh, they were the one company, they had no problem giving the middle finger to Nintendo by basically co-opting their iconography and just renaming it or tweaking it just enough to keep Nintendo's lawyers at bay. Um, so they, they went to this thing where they went, well, we're going to do quarterly boxes. And it's like, no, I, I like getting my monthly fix. And some of the quarterly boxes were fun. Um... But I just gave up on it. So uh, I don't know if the quarterly boxes weren't selling well. I don't know if this is a reaction to you know the, the economy, you know, corona, and everything else. Uh, but I got a month, uh, an email about a month ago. They said, monthly boxes are back. It's like, yeah, you got my attention. So yeah, I put it back in and I did a six-month subscription. And you know, I thought about it. You know, so for those of you who are longtime viewers, um, you have seen me kind of evolve and struggle. Uh, you know, at the end of 2018, the beginning of 2019, when the convention that I founded uh, crashed and burned um, under the weight of several entitled people who thought that basically I should make it, I should build it, and I should just give everything to them, uh, along with my now ex dumping me in probably one of the most humiliating and embarrassing manners possible, which, you know, almost led to me, um, you know, <laughs> if, if you look in the, oh my God, if you look in the video, um, right, right back, there we go, right, right, back there, uh, you will see two bottles of wine and a bottle of Elise. That was one half of the, uh, the materials that I was going to use to off myself. Um, I, I used 2019 basically as a rebuilding year. Um, you know, I, I knew part of the stress was that, well, hell, all the stress at least related to the convention, was due to the fact that I was drowning in debt. Uh, I had about $85,000 in student loans at the time. Um, so I just put myself into digging out, absolutely digging out, attacking the debt and everything else. So the debt paid off. I, I worked two jobs, 80 to 100 hours a week for basically the last seven months of 2019. Um, the debt is clear. Credit cards are cleared. Um, so Geek Fuel sent me this email. And they said, yeah, we're going to go back to the monthlies. It's like, you know what? I I have spare cash. And I, I miss these boxes, man. You know, e even the ones that kind of stank. It, it was kind of always nice just to get a little package and unbox it and see what was in there. So I think this may be the beginning of a new beginning. Um you know, we'll take a look and we'll see what Birchbox is doing. Uh, we'll take a look. Sprezzabox is completely, oh my God. Um, there's no surprise in there whatsoever. They're not like, yeah, here are three boxes that we're putting out. It's it's like a, a cheap version of Bespoke Post. Um, you know, Bespoke Post, you always knew what you were getting. I uh, don't know about them. Gentleman's Box, man, I'm, I'm still kind of bitter about the way they sent me out as a influencer. It's like, you know. Sorry, Carter, that I'm not some pretty little 20-something Insta-influencer, you know, fat, shaggy dude. I mean, you know, come on, man. What could be better for your brand? If you can make someone like me look awesome, think about, you know, what a 20-year-old with an iPhone on Instagram can do. Um, Nerdblock, they, they seem to be gone, man. I, I checked up on them, and they've never come back from the whole bankruptcy thing. Maybe Loot Crate. I, I still see them showing up. So, anyway... War will be coming. Uh, but this, this is Geek Fuel. This is the April 2020 Geek Fuel box. So, one of the things I'm not crazy about with Geek Fuel is, man, fucking spoiler cities in your social media feed. 
I know what the t-shirt is in here before I got it. And that's, I'm, I'm kind of not cool with that, man. You know, let, let's, let's have the surprise aspect. That's the fun of opening these boxes. The other thing I will say, and I, I want to get back to this tradition. The one thing Geek Fuel did that no, did well that nobody else did, uh, they always have a pin. Do we have a picture of their mascot somewhere here? Yeah, so they, they kind of have this little, like, pseudo-robot mascot. And, you know, every month they were doing pins, um, kind of parody pins. And they just did amazing jobs with those pins. Um, I, I still remember, like, some of the action figure-themed ones. They got the carding down, right? Just everything. So let's see what's in here. Um, back to a sense of normalcy with Geek Fuel. Oh, spoilers. We don't want to see that yet. Uh, so this, this is what I knew was in here. This is this is the T-shirt, and you know, as as an old guy, and I, you know, I'm, I'm to the point now where I, I am now in my late forties. I'm okay by saying that. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm a member of you know the furry fandom. I've been a furry since 1994, and I, I kind of see this this resurgence of ageism where. If you're over 30, you need to leave the fandom. No, because the fandom just fucking magically appeared. You know, people who are now old did nothing to build it up. So I, I'm now embracing my bitter old ageness. And, you know, for me, this this T-shirt, man, um, you know, is, is somebody who, as a kid, just lived in arcades when, you know, I, I was 10, 11, 12. Uh, as soon as I was 16, man, um my weekend ritual would be to go to either Invaders Arcade in Grand Blank, Michigan, or drive just up the road to Playland and just hit every quarter I had in those machines. So I liked this, man. You know, Pac-Man, um, I, I was never good at it. I, I never was smart enough to figure out, hey, the ghosts have a prescribed pattern. Memorize that. I, I never did anything like that, but I loved the shirt. I would have loved it more if I had opened up the box and didn't know that it was in here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's, it's been spoiled, but I, I'm okay with that spoiler. Uh, I'm going to grab just the next thing here. And the next thing is... <laughs> All right, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. This, this is what I love about the folks at Geek Fuel. They have no problem unapologetically, relentlessly, and mercilessly ripping the shit off from people. So they, they have a color-changing mug that is designed to look just like an old um, N64 uh, cartridge box. Um, so color-changing mug, obviously it's a nod to GoldenEye. Um, I, I was never a fan of GoldenEye. You know, First-person shooters, those kinds of games, just not my thing. It's not a bag on the on the genre. I just, I, I never got, like, the appeal for it. Um, and it looks like I can see, okay, hang on a second. No room on the desk, I'm such a fucking slob. Um, there. So, put hot fluid in it. And that will show up on the mug. And you can kind of take a look right around the corner here. There we go. You can kind of see where it is. So I'm actually happy with this. Um, you know, like I said, I, I don't have like a huge emotional tie uh, to Goldeneye. I, I know that for like the generation that came after me, this, this was kind of like one of their gateway drug games. Um, but, you know, for me, first person shooters, just never really my thing. Um, uh, let's see here. It looks like... Yeah, okay, we got, so we got a... Wow, okay, that's... So we got a Q-Fig um, from Venom. Uh, you know, again, never saw the film when it was in theaters. Um never really i never liked the character man uh you know venom for me is is kind of like that angry white guy aspect of the spider-man universe um you know every every angry white dude um you know who is basically a fucking bully by nature gets superpowers and you know some of these venom it's like you know come on man um so i didn't see the film it's kind of like you know not my not my bag baby um but you know the figure is nice um I'm kind of surprised though, because that's I I 
seem to remember more from Geek Fuel. You know, they, they put a sticker in here. Um, kind of cut back on the, the stuff, guys. Um, so we take a look here, and yeah, that, that's what it is. Pac-Man t-shirts. Uh, the bonus sticker, um, the Venom Q-Fig, the color-changing mug, the obligatory plug. Y'all have me for a six-month plan. Um, I, it's I mean, kind of okay. I, I guess I was expecting more. You know, just a couple little things. Put something in there. Um, we'll see how this goes. I, I will uh, definitely start looking around for some subscription services and maybe expand into a few other things. Um, you know, the uh, can't do much with a lot of the men's grooming stuff, man. I, I am doubling down on the restoration of the ponytail. Uh, I've, I've been doing this for six months now. I don't know, six months, 12 months. Um, I was thinking six because of June. Uh, June of last year was the last time I cut my hair, uh, shaved my head, um, you know, so I'm coming up on one year of growth, man, and I, I am almost there. I am this close to having the old ponytail back, so not not sure what I can really do with grooming. You know, I've got the beard. I don't have that much real estate on the face. Um, Birchbox just stopped putting fragrances in their boxes for me. Uh, so anyway, um, we've got the Q-Fig. We've got the color-changing mug, and we have the T-shirt, and I think this month, uh, the t-shirt is definitely the pick of the box. So there we go, folks. That is your April 2020 Geek Fuel unboxing. Um, stick around. Um, I'm back. I'm doing this. I don't know what the hell I'm going to come back with, but if you all have a box that you want me to take a look at, throw it my way. And if there's anything I can see there that you know I want to throw up here, I will. Uh, beyond that, I will see you all next month for May's Geek Fuel unboxing. Until then, be good. Be good to each other and stay safe out there. And fucking wash your hands, people.